Hello students and welcome to our channel. If you like the explanation, do not forget to like and share the video and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel. To get notified on the latest uploads, do not forget to press the bell icon. For more study materials, video courses and tests, do not forget to download the Keshes Classes app and sign up. Link is given in the description box. In this video, we are going to talk about quadratic equations to solve a new and very interesting way. It's called Lowe's Method. Let's say we have an equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 equal to 0. सबसे पहला चीज जो हमें करना है वो यही है कि जो स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन है ax स्क्वायर प्लस bx प्लस c उसके साथ इसे कंपेयर करके a b और c का वैल्यूज निकालना है सो so, a का वैल्यू निकलेगा 2 b का वैल्यू -5 एंड c का वैल्यू 3 नाउ हम लोगों को फोकस करना होगा ऑन द सम ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो लेट्स से द रूट्स आर x1 एंड x2 नाउ द सम ऑफ रूट्स we know that the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is minus b by a. So x1 plus x2, since the two roots are x1 and x2, so obviously the sum of the roots means x1 plus x2 equal to minus b by a, which is in this case 5 by 2. Now, what we need to do is we need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we get x1 plus x2 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2 divided by 2 which is nothing but 5 by 4. Now focus on this on x1 plus x2 by 2. This is very important. Now x1 plus x2 by 2 is as we can see nothing but the average of x1 and x2 if we wanted to find the average of x1 and x2 agar humko x1 aur x2 ka average nikalna hota to bhi hum x1 plus x2 by 2 karte so this is nothing but the average of x1 and x2 that is the two roots of this quadratic equation so this is the average of x1 and x2 the average of x1 and x2 which in this case is equal to 5 by 4. So, abhi tak hume mila x1 plus x2 by 2 equal to 5 by 4 and x1 plus x2 by 2 is nothing but the average of x1 and x2. Now, we need to focus on this. Let's say we have two numbers. We take two numbers 2 and 4. Now, agar 2 and 4 ka average nikalne jayenge. So, that would be 2 plus 4 divided by 2 which is nothing but 6 by 2 which is equal to 3. The average of 2 and 4 would be 3. Now the question is, can we express these two numbers 2 and 4 as 3 minus something and 3 plus something? Yes, 2 can be expressed as 3 minus 1 and 4 can be expressed as 3 plus 1. This means that if we have two numbers A and B, of which the average is C, so A plus B by 2 equal to C, then we can express a and b as c minus a fixed number, let's say z, and c plus z. So one of a and b would be c minus z, and the other one would be c plus z. So if two numbers have two numbers ka average, hamare paas hai, let's say two and four, humne liya, two and four ka average agar hum two plus four by two, wo aega three. So, क्या हम 2 और 4 इन दोनों नंबर्स को जिनका हम एवरेज निकाल रहे थे उनको 3 minus something and 3 plus something के फॉर्म में एक्सप्रेस कर सकते हैं तो द आंसर इज यस 2 को हम 3 minus 1 और 4 को 3 plus 1 इस तरह से लिख सकते हैं तो इसको अगर जनरलाइज करें अगर हमारे पास दो नंबर्स है a एंड b और उन दोनों का एवरेज है c a plus b by 2 equal to c हो जाएगा एंड a एंड b इन दोनों नंबर्स को हम एक्सप्रेस कर सकते हैं एज c minus something and c plus something so, in dono mein se koi ek ho jayega c minus let's say a particular fixed number z and dusra wala ho jayega c plus z. So, isi concept ko hum apply karenge yaha pe x1 plus x2 by 2 that means the average of x1 and x2 is equal to 5 by 4. Now, let's use this logic here. The average of x1 and x2 is 5 by 4. That means x1 and x2 can be expressed as 5 by 4 minus 
a particular fixed number, let's say z, and 5 by 4 plus z. Now, what is the next step? The equation is 2x square minus 5x plus 3 equal to 0. So the product of the roots p is equal to c by a, which is equal to 3 by 2. Now the product of the roots means x1 into x2 equal to 3 by 2. So now we have x1 into x2 equal to 3 by 2. That is 5 by 4 minus z into 5 by 4 plus z equal to 3 by 2. We know that a minus b to a plus b equal to a square minus b square. So So, working this out, z square equal to 25 by 16 minus 3 by 2, that becomes 16. Now, z square equal to 1 by 16, so z equal to 1 by 4. Now, let's put the value of z in x1 and x2. We have x1 equal to 5 by 4 minus 1 by 4 equal to 4 by 4 that is 1 and x2 equal to 5 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 6 by 4 which is nothing but 3 by 2. So the roots are 1 and 3 by 2.